Oh, it's Petra predictions. My predictions for Group A has actually changed from the previous video you can see in this link. And now I see Hungary topping the group in first, then Germany coming in second, Scotland in third, still making it to the next knockout round, and Switzerland in fourth. The reason I've had a bit of a different thought around this group is because Germany's form is actually getting better just in the nick of time of the tournament and they are hosts and I think this will play into their favour a lot. And Hungary are unbeaten in 14 games at the moment so they are looking on tremendous form going into the group and for Scotland I think ah, they're dropping that little bit in form but I think they do have enough and the quality and still some momentum to get out of this group. As for all the other groups I'm going to keep the same predictions I mentioned in my previous video and in that video there's better explanation as to why I think this. Group B the group of death will be particularly interesting as I only believe that Spain is coming into the tournament on decent form the others have dropped off a bit so it will be interesting to see there and I still think Albania could spring some surprises with their efficient counter-attacking football and for group C I don't see again much really changing again it's quite chronological in their form as well how they do it group D again based on quality and form don't see any changes in this group and as I mentioned in my video of how well Slavic nations would do this is just too early of a test for Poland to really get going in this difficult group. Group B, again, no changes to my previous predictions. This Ukrainian side, I believe, is their weakest in terms of quality for some time now. And I just see Romania and Slovakia are just better teams and they will do better. For Group F, same again. And I do see Georgia springing a surprise on Czechia, but again, not being good enough to be able to beat Turkey or Portugal. All right, so that leaves us with the round of 16 games so the first one Spain versus Netherlands in my last video I actually predicted Spain to win this game pretty easily in 90 minutes however I actually think Netherlands will win this game I think Spain will be very gassed out from their group of death I see possession football for them just not working in this fixture I see Netherlands being very tactical and uh, efficient on the counter-attack and I see Netherlands, I know they finished third in their group to my predictions, but I see them growing into this tournament. Next fixture, Hungary versus Denmark. I'm happy with this game for Hungary as a knockout game. I don't think Denmark are at their best. Both teams are pretty even on paper though, but Hungary has been having some momentum. They've been building towards knockout football and I actually see Hungary winning against Denmark. Could be in 90 minutes or added extra time. I don't think in penalties. And if my predictions are correct, Hungary would be on a 20 unbeaten match streak. Hi, Ra Madjorok. So really impressive stuff for them, if my predictions are correct. Uh, next sets, Portugal versus Croatia. In the previous picture, whoops, in the previous video, I actually had Portugal winning this tie, but... I actually see Croatia winning this tie. I know they would have been in a group of death and they would have been gassed out from that, but Portugal have had simple qualifiers. Their group is probably one of the easiest this tournament. I see this really being Roberto Martinez's first real test of a game, and I don't know if Portugal will tactically understand this game, and that's where I think Croatia will take advantage of it. Austria, Romania. In the last video, I actually had Romania winning this game, but I'm going to go opposite Austria. I do see Austria doing well this tournament. I see them, well, they already would have done their best ever in the Euros if they win this first knockout game and their first ever knockout game win for absolute decades. I think Romania will push them, but Austria are clinical in front of goal, and I think they'll just be a bit too much for Romania. I see them winning about 1-0 within 90 minutes. Second set of the bracket, Belgium, Scotland. Scotland would have done their best ever in a footballing tournament, if my predictions are correct, by actually getting out of the group stage for the first time ever. And just unfamiliar territory. I think they will play the better football than Belgium, but Belgium with their experience in some of their squad members. And I could see Scotland just not understanding this kind of knockout game as well. France versus Turkey. I kind of see there being a surprise, but I think that is unlikely. I think Turkey will push France, 
But I see France winning against Turkey about 1-0 within 90 minutes. Not playing good football, Turkey playing the better football, but France nicking it. England versus Slovakia, very straightforward game for England. Probably won't even concede a goal. few goals, England to win that game. Not good preparation there. Germany, Albania. So I don't think Germany, I think Germany would have slimed out of the group stage. Yes, I see them coming second with momentum, but this will be the game, this knockout game, Germany winning against Albania within 90 minutes. This will be the game that helps Germany's momentum throughout the tournament. Yes, it's a simpler fixture. Albania would have been gassed out from their group of death, but I see this working a lot into Germany's favour. On to the quarterfinals, Hungary versus Netherlands. Can Hungary do it? I don't think so, frustratingly. I see Netherlands winning this game. They are a bogey team for Hungary, and Hungary on what I predict that 20 unmatched beaten streak coming crashing against a bogey rivals like Netherlands. I see this going to added extra time or even penalties, though. See there being goals, see this being a very good game, but... Hungary, unfortunately, not making it frustratingly. Croatia, Austria, very interesting game, actually. So I think Croatia will have a strange tournament this time round. I think a lot of their old guards will really be showing their weak legs. And I think Croatia will succeed in this tournament when they're not in possession. Croatia is usually a type of team that likes possession. But I see them going far in the tournament without possession. And in a game like this, I think Austria will let Croatia dictate the game. And with Croatia not having a clear goal scorer in their squad at the moment, I think this will be an issue. I think Austria could really frustrate Croatia. And I actually see Austria winning against Croatia within 19 minutes and reaching the semi-finals over Croatia. Croatia does have the experience, but there's just something about their goal scoring like options that are just not doing it. Belgium, France. I think France are going to win it pretty comfortably within 90 minutes. This Belgium squad is still quite young. There are some old guards, but I just don't see it clicking. France's experience will do it. Wow. This is a meaty one for a quarterfinals. Old rivalries, England versus Germany. Uh, close one. I think it will go to add it extra time on 90 minutes. But I see Germany, what I'm saying about the momentum, home advantage. I think Germany will really be good at blocking out counterattacks or blocking out that kind of possessive-based football that I think England will dominate. But... This England squad will have so much pressure on them and it's a very familiar territory of having a comfortable first knockout game. Being really tested in the quarterfinal, not doing it. And I see England just, yeah, getting unlucky and not doing it. Semi-finals, Austria, Netherlands. They would have played each other in the group stage and I would have predicted this match to be a draw or even Austria to nip it. But in this kind of semi-final fixture, with the momentum of the Netherlands. I see Netherlands winning this game within 90 minutes, actually. I think this is going to be the more comfortable of knockout games for the Netherlands. I think Austria would have been gassed out. They could just get tactically naive as well in this really tight kind of game. Other semi-final, France versus Germany. This was a semi-final eight years ago in the 2016 Euros in which France won. However... I see the tides being the other way, and I see Germany winning this tie. I see this tie going to added extra time or penalties for sure. And as France showed in the last Euros, when they play football in added extra time or penalties, this is their weak spot, actually. And I think Germany will do anything, whether it's parking the bus, to make sure it goes to added extra time or penalties. And I just see... Again, Germany's momentum flowing their way through and France agonizingly not doing it. That leaves us with a very interesting, quite unpredicted final, if you look at the teams, of Netherlands versus Germany. 
very feisty old rivalry here. This was a final back in the 1974 FIFA World Cup in Germany, which Germany won. Ooh, 50 years on, can the Netherlands take their revenge on Germany? Ooh, this is a tough call. And I think both teams, this will be a really uh, cagey game, I see it. Both of these squads are in unfamiliar territory in terms of being in a final. Like both of these squads are still uh, in that forming transitional phase. So it will be interesting to see actually. But it's still too heavyweight, so to say, in a final. Uh, difficult. I'm going to go with Germany. I would love for the Netherlands to take their revenge 50 years on against Germany in their own backyard. I don't see it. I see Germany getting very lucky this tournament. Germany working their way through, worming their way through. And winning. Winning the tournament. Germany winning Euros 2024 quite frustratingly to be honest this actually follows on from Cote d'Ivoire and Qatar winning their tournaments as well so a third one this year hosts to win their tournaments there you have my predictions for the Euro 2024 do you agree with me do you disagree with me who do you think will win the Euro 2024 and as always thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video